my name is Henrik Boyle. I'm working with uh, Concha and we are here at Cisco Live in Orlando. I'm really proud to be here representing our latest uh, application developed on top of DNA Center. Concha is a company with 350 IT professionals uh, based in the northern part of Europe, Norway, Sweden, Denmark and Holland. We're using uh, newest technology to uh, give the best solutions to our customers in uh, data center, mobility, security, cloud. And, um, and what we're doing here is uh, we're demonstrating uh, our application and uh, we brought uh, Thomas and a demo set up in order to do that. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll go over to you, Thomas, to, um, to have a demonstration. Thank you. We see a big value in the open platform because it gives us uh, APIs that we can use to leverage it and uh, granting us access to develop uh, custom functions or apps that we can integrate with DNA Center. And uh, this increases the use cases for DNA Center significantly for us. It means that we can do small custom apps for specific functions at customers, or we can do integrations to other systems like uh, ITSM systems, for example. Uh, it could be ServiceNow or some of the other vendors out there. Our use case is that we had a lot of had customers where we had a hard time figuring out how many ports that was utilized in the access switches. So we wanted to make a solution where you could easily go in and see on each location and in each uh, wiring closet how many free ports were there. Or do I need to buy more ports? And we, we did that by uh, using the DNA Center APIs to harvest information. So we utilized the uh, location structure in DNA Center where you have uh, both the uh, areas and uh, cities and then we have the buildings and the floors so we can drill down through that to figure out how many ports there are in each location. So we, we get the entire structure from DNA Center through the APIs and, we get, and then we get all the devices from there as well and we sample the devices every half an hour for port status. And now we'll do a demo of our solution. <coughs> Over here we can see the donuts showing the ports and um, we have a we have uh, done it for our company, Concha, where we can see we have 299 ports available. Then we can drill down through the locations. Then we have Denmark, where we are placed in two cities, Brøndby and Aarhus. And we can see that the 299 ports went to 51 ports in Aarhus and 248 ports in Brøndby. Then we want to look a little bit closer at Brøndby. Then we can see we have one building, our headquarter. If we had have several buildings, they would show up here as parts of the donuts. Then we drill down further. Then we can see all the switches that are not placed at a floor. And then we have the basement with eight ports available. Hmm. Let's look into that. Then we dig into the basement. There's only one switch. That's part of the reason for having a uh, few ports available. Then if we click at that, then we'll get the individual ports that are available. We can see if that matches what we expect. Then we can do a save to Excel, so we could send a technician out to remove the cables for those. I'll do that. Then we have a full list of ports, and we have both up and down here, but it's easy to filter in Excel and then only see the ports that are down. That means that we can send the electrician out and remove all the cables for the ports that are not used, so they are ready when you provision a new port which makes the provisioning process easier. Then you might wonder, how do we set a port as unused? Because it's not enough just to look at the status right now because the user might have left for home and the port is down. So we have done it that you can put a time range in, for instance, last week or yesterday or the last 24 hours. Here you can, and or you can use the custom slider down here and uh, select a specific period. And th this is where the network administrator puts in his knowledge about his business so whatever fits his needs, he select here. And then for the entire period, we, we only report a port as down if it hasn't been up for that entire period. And that's actually it. Pretty cool, Thomas. So really what we want you to do now is to go and uh, visit us at uh, the DNA Center Ecosystem Exchange, where you can see more about this, or you will be able to contact us if you want to uh, know more about our solution.